Imagine standing on a barren, lifeless planet and witnessing the birth of a new world. A world that could one day become a second home for humanity. The skies above Mars erupt into a dazzling display as 40 starships unleash nuclear missiles toward its poles. This is not the beginning of war, but the beginning of life. Welcome to the future of Mars, where humanity's most ambitious terraforming project is about to turn the red planet green. Terraforming Mars begins with a dramatic phase, where nuclear explosions are strategically detonated above the Martian poles. These blasts release large amounts of CO2 and water vapor trapped in the planet's polar ice caps. The aim is to thicken Mars' extremely thin atmosphere, which currently holds only 1% of Earth's atmospheric pressure. As the CO2 and water vapor enter the atmosphere, they kickstart a runaway greenhouse effect, trapping more heat and gradually increasing the planet's temperature. This warming causes more ice to melt, releasing additional CO2, which further intensifies the greenhouse effect. As the atmosphere thickens and warms, Mars begins its transformation into a more habitable environment. The surface, once a barren, freezing desert, starts to show signs of becoming a warmer, wetter planet. This crucial first step sets the stage for more advanced terraforming efforts, leading to the possibility of sustaining liquid water and eventually life on Mars. But what happens next? The warming on Mars causes more ice to melt, releasing additional CO2, which further intensifies the greenhouse effect. As the atmosphere thickens and warms, Mars starts transforming from a barren, freezing desert into a warmer, wetter planet. The surface begins showing signs of becoming more habitable, marking a crucial first step in terraforming. This phase sets the stage for more advanced efforts, ultimately aiming to sustain liquid water and eventually support life on Mars. The process holds the potential to turn the Red Planet into a new frontier for human exploration and settlement. But this is just the beginning. As the atmosphere continues to thicken, rivers start carving through ancient valleys, and the first Martian oceans begin to form. A planet that was once a cold, barren desert now shows signs of transformation, teeming with water. This dramatic shift is the result of the runaway greenhouse effect, turning Mars into a world with the potential for life. The sight of a once desolate landscape slowly becoming a water-rich environment underscores the immense power of terraforming and the possibilities it holds for the future of humanity on Mars. Yet the challenges are immense. Despite a warmer climate, Mars remains a hostile environment. This is where paraterraforming plays a crucial role, a targeted approach to create habitable zones. Imagine a massive crater enclosed under a transparent dome where humans can live and work without pressure suits. Within this controlled environment, plants are able to grow in Martian soil transforming the barren landscape into a sustainable habitat. These domed craters serve as the first human settlements on Mars, offering protection from radiation and extreme temperatures, and providing a glimpse into the future of life on the Red Planet. In these controlled environments, the climate is geo-engineered to mimic Earth's conditions, with rain falling and crops thriving. These domed habitats create a livable atmosphere, enabling plants to grow and providing essential resources for human survival. This approach represents humanity's first significant stride toward establishing a permanent presence on Mars. By creating these Earth-like conditions, we lay the foundation for sustainable living and future expansion, turning Martian landscapes into viable habitats 
and setting the stage for more extensive colonization and development on the Red Planet. But there's a critical hurdle. Mars lost its magnetic field long ago, leaving it vulnerable to solar and cosmic radiation. To truly protect our new world, scientists have devised an extraordinary plan, the Solenoid Loop Project. By wrapping superconducting cables around Mars and activating nuclear fusion reactors, we can reboot the planet's magnetic field. This engineered magnetosphere will shield Mars from harmful radiation and prevent its atmosphere from being stripped away by solar winds. By creating a magnetic field around the planet, this new protective shield will help preserve the atmosphere and enhance habitability. The green glow of auroras dancing at the poles signifies the successful implementation of this protective layer, marking a significant milestone in Mars transformation. This development not only fortifies the atmosphere, but also makes the surface more hospitable for future generations and paves the way for sustained human settlement. With the atmosphere stabilizing and radiation levels decreasing, the next phase of terraforming Mars begins, seeding life. The process starts with introducing genetically engineered bacteria, hardy plants, and eventually animals to the Martian surface. Initial pioneers include resilient organisms like tardigrades and algae, which are capable of surviving extreme conditions. These early life forms will lay the groundwork for a more complex ecosystem, gradually transforming Mars into a planet that can support diverse life forms. As these organisms thrive and adapt, they will help create a sustainable environment capable of sustaining human life for future generations. And as progress continues, the potential is boundless. Could humanity bioengineer itself to better adapt to this new world? Mars is not just a frontier. It's a blank canvas for the future of humanity. The dream of terraforming Mars is no longer just science fiction. It's a grand challenge, one that requires the best of human ingenuity, technology, and willpower. The first steps have been taken, but the journey is far from over. What do you think? Will we see a green Mars within our lifetime? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're as fascinated by the possibilities as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into humanity's future on Mars.